so it's probably near the end of its life cycle. We can try to throw it up there. All right, JT. JT. Yeah, here we are for round one. Oh, yeah, we're charging badgers. I'm Brian. I'm Ryan. Here we are for round one of our uh, fourth uh, Modern Masters 2015 draft. Bringing the Wisconsin Boros Pride, red, white. That's right. Bucky Badger Boros is what we're calling this one. We'll call the Gorehorn Minotaurs Bucky Badgers. Sure. <laughs> Well, we'll do push-ups after each time we deal damage to the opponent. You can do it. I, I have to drive. <laughs> <laughs> One push-up per damage. You just hope there's no life. Game. I went to a I went to a game when I was younger where like it was against like Michigan or something, okay. and the end score was like sixty-two to three, and I just felt so bad for that bad. Yeah, because he has to do like seven push-ups, then fourteen push-ups. Yep. It's not like he does sixty-three push-ups by the end. That's no. just his last set of repetitions he has to do. 7 plus 14 plus 21. Yeah. Yeah, that was... I've always, like... We actually went to a fair amount of Badger games when I was growing up, but we'd always go... Like, it was more about the experience than the actual, like, sure. game. Huh. I don't think this is a great hand, but I think we can keep it. Uh, yeah, I think it's a keep. He's going first, yeah, okay. Yeah. That means we only have 12 lands left. Turn one Fire Slinger. We have lots to draw into, I think. Any planes is significantly up, so, like, yeah. that makes turn four procession. Mm, yeah, that's... So, any action is good here. And we only got 11 lands left. Wait, we're stopped on... Set your stops wherever you want, man. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sorry, I thought we stopped at a weird place there. So he's got an S. This is like red, red, white is the be or green, white is like the best deck in the format. So you yep. get it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so we could burst here, but I don't. Yeah. Oh my god, I have to remember Fire Slinger triggers. Yep. Yell at me every end step. Yep. I'm going to forget them. Everybody's going to learn how bad I am at magical cards. It'll be awful. Just keep away from the oats. When you get to end, just keep your mouse away from the okay and say, Yeah. Ask out loud. Because I could have done it right there. Okay. Wait, now you can do it. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Uh, targeting him, right? Yeah. Uh, should we <laughs> burst now if he had no play? Um, I feel like we're not going to be tap. It's unlikely that we're going to be using our mana okay. next turn, so we'll have... All right, well, then, of course, oh, I... Hold on, hold, hold on. So we should play Mountain, because then we can... Would we... Yeah, we want to play Mountain. Yeah, yeah, right. So we can Swift Blade and keep up Burst Lightning or Apostles Blessing if we need it. <clears throat> Apostle's Blessing kills the Nest Invader. Yeah. If we feel like that's a better use, if we want to save our burn. It's an option. I'd, I think I'd rather just take two again. Okay. I guess we're two turns away from Burst Lightning. For four. And he didn't sack his spawn, so he doesn't have a Predator. Kozlux Predator. Or, yeah, something even bigger. Maybe we just take it? Yep. If we were going to take it last turn and we're not yeah. going to... Yep. Then, we, yeah, we just take it. Well, the difference being that we're going to use our mana next turn, so we won't have the option to turn after. Okay. That's a good card. Doesn't really... It's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Yeah, Fire Slinger. You can just do it the next time we get priority, probably. I guess we can act. We're not all that far off from burst lightning, that guy. No. Uh, minotaurs. Yeah. Shoot minotaurs. 
That's nice. This puts the ball in his court. Yep. Please graft. Do it. Yeah, so we mentioned it before. Graft is super annoying online. It triggers for every creature, even your opponent's mm -hmm. creatures. So there's just lots of things. I think the only, like, reasonable interaction is, uh, is, uh, making them fly and them plummeting them. <laughs> like, sure, sure. Let's see. I can't think of another. And, like, that's kind of, kind of weird. <clears throat> So if he attacks here, if he attacks with both, I think we block the nest invader. For okay. Sure. Yep. If he attacks with just the rootkin, we probably take it, and then next turn, we can uh, keep up burst lightning. And then if he has a trick, we mm -hmm. just burst lightning in response, right? He, yeah. Cause, yep. Or we could. What we could do is we could play procession and have up apostle's blessing, and then apostle's blessing sure. or minotaur. Sure. There's the predator. There's the predator. <clears throat> so now there's really less to play around. A mighty leap, which is an odd, which would well, I guess it wouldn't be that out of the card for this. Yeah. Graft onto the swan. We can Trigger probably, madness. You can probably auto yield to that if you want. See, has, this is one has a good deck. This is one of the reasons why I like having those um, kite sails. Is just for situations like this. Okay, grafting on the predator. Interesting. Yeah, no, this is a this is a good deck. But yeah, now all he could have is mighty leap here. I think so. That's bad for him. It would trade two for one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we already used the <laughs> slinger. Yeah, we used it last turn. So I think I drop, keep up the mountain, drop the spectral procession. Uh, that sounds fine to me. And then we can burst lightning or apostles blessing as we see fit yep. next turn. Good. <laughs> and we get, we still get to do one damage with the fire slinger. Yep. Well, and, and we're going to start, and we have a clock on it. I guess now. we have to, the only thing we'd have to worry about is something like overwhelming. Yeah, or that, that like could that. be real bad. Or, yeah, even that, uh, the XX where X is the number of creatures you have isn't great for us. Wait, X, the overwhelming stampede? Mm. Sorry, the, the creature. You're terrible with card names. You need to get better with card names. Uh, the, uh, at least I know what Scion the Scion of the Wild? Scion of the Wild, that's it. Well, it's an XX creature where X is the number of creatures. That's exactly I didn't know that you were talking about a creature. I thought you were talking about oh, a okay. spell that, gave, that pumped. That's on you. No. So he could do it for... Uh, ooh, that's, that's really good. Yeah. Because then he can attack and <laughs> yep. <he can laughs> knock it off. <laughs> Oh man, we got arrested. Oh. Uh oh. What could what? what uh, is... fortify. Oh okay. I think. So I think what we do here is we apostles blessing. Yep. And we block, and we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose a bunch of stuff. Okay, but I think we have with double strike the tokens. I think we're okay here. So let's let's just do that first. Make sure you choose white. Yep. Unfortunately, we can't choose green. Selesnya hybrid is yeah. what we should have chosen. Yeah, Selesnya hybrid. Yep, so this is... Uh, okay. So I think we have to block all the spawns with spirits. So let's hit okay. Let's go to blocks. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're going to trade off a bunch of stuff here, but I think we're going to end up in an okay position. So, so I, I think we should do a... Swift blade on a token. Don't. Oh, it's okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that would be my first inclination would be swift blade on a token. Uh huh. Then probably 
two spear. So if we think if he has fortify, mm-hmm. can we block Minotaurs on Ness Invader? Boros Swiftblade on a token. Mm-hmm. Spirit on token. Spirit on token. Like Fire Slinger on Kozilix Predator, and then we take five, and we keep Do we Swiftblade need, yeah. Spirit Gorhorn Minotaur. Sure. I think that's yeah, uh, I, okay, and so. he, and he get, he keeps his four four and his yeah. three three, but we have a Minotaur holding them off, and he has one card in hand. There. Do we want there? And I would put Fire Slinger on Predator because I don't think we can afford to take eleven. Could we put the Spirit on the Predator instead? <laughs> sure. I think you're, I'd rather the, you're, the Fire Slinger is more valuable to us than a single yeah. Spirit. You're right. And don't forget the Fire Slinger trigger at the end of turn. Yep. Because this is like a terrible fortify for him. Yeah. Like it almost does nothing. I can't. And and he loses yeah. a lot of his board. So if he doesn't use it here, like that's really good for us as well. I think. Yeah, I think he has to. Like, I don't know if he has. All he does is get th- literally all he does is get through two damage with it. But he loses three. Sp- he loses three. Like this is that ar- uh, blo- knocking off that arrest yeah. was so good for us. <laughs> If I were him, I'd probably just eat it. Yeah, I suppose. He could do it toughness. <laughs> but that's... But, yeah. Plus, okay, plus yep. so he did do it. So, yeah, it, it really doesn't do much. No. Kills off some spirits. He could have, like, a gut shot. He and saved I, a black mana. Yeah, I don't know what the... I don't think there's anything for a single black. End of combat. So now we just got a fire slinger end of turn. Yep, okay. Yeah, he's at one card in hand. We're only at one effective card, but yep. still. But we've got a 17 turn clock. Yep. <laughs> well, less than that. I know. Uh, yeah. Attack with a Swift Spear, play of the Blood Ogre. Yep. Blood Ogre with a burst, burst lightning, lightning backup is pretty sick. Play the forest? I think we play the mountain. I don't think there's any Fair. reason to hold it. He could have Waking Nightmare, but that doesn't really yeah. get us. We would just play the Burst Lightning in response. So I think we're pretty decent shape here. I'm happy. I mean, there's definitely things that can screw us over, but that that arrest falls so, off. So <laughs> one thing to consider here, the Cytoplast mm-hmm. Ritkin, what is his ability? Uh, it's He can move counters off of other things onto it. So he has one counter to play with for two mana right now? Because there's one on the Predator. Yeah, right. So we just got to keep so that in mind. He could make one of these. One of these can be a 3-3 three, three, and one of these can be a 4-4. Four, four. Right. Cathodian. Okay. This is the first artifact we've seen, so Smash is not really a good nope. option. Okay. Unless we see more. Okay. What's his last card? But invoke. Oh, okay. Gain three life, four life. Fire sling. We can fire sling right now. Bam. See, I should replace all the magic sound effects with my own with sound your effects. Own, that would be really. I think that would be really a bonus for the viewers. Yeah, it would up the production value <laughs> of charging badgers. I've been looking for ways to do that. Pew 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 pew. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what does a Gorhorn Minotaur say? <laughs> He's Bucky Badger, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's not great. Um, any attacks here? No. Right? I think we're staring at each other for a while. Okay. I might as well play the garrison. Play the garrison. Bounce a mountain. Oh. Now we have a full kick burst lightning up. Yep. Oh, we have a... That's what's going on. That's what's throwing me off, is we have a stop set on our end step. I don't know why we did that. I'm sure there's a reason. All right, 17 turn clock is back in effect. Yep. 
ping, pew pew pew. Well, I guess it isn't really so much pew pew as it is like a crack. Yeah. Cracking of the whip. Mm, yeah. Fire's <laughs> thing, and then if one blood ogre with burst lightning backup is good. Oh, I did put a shield down there. If he could have done right. something that we needed to burst lightning in response to, that would have been a... True. So this is where that uh, Sunforge that I was skeptical about. Yeah. It's really going to shine. Because yeah. we're going to need something to break through this eventually. Yep. We've I'm sure one. that he has another... We've played a land, so he's got one in hand. <clears throat> oh, I forgot the fire sling. No, we played the ogre. Oh right, okay. Didn't miss it. Well, I I forgot to fire sling. The fact that it we didn't need to. Land. Lumog's crusher would be pretty good for him. I guess not even because we would just double block with ogre and burst lightning. Get two of our lands. We would get two lands. Don't have enough of get. those. Our comet storm. Fiery falls good here. Um, we I, we have no dead cards except for lands. I think. Root force is good here. Lightning, Lightning bolts is good. Always hold it. Welcome to the team. We're up to seven points of burn in hand, so yeah. seven turn clock. If we just stare at each other, he could have like life gain spell at instant speed, but. Honestly, overwhelm. We might not be all that bad off. Well, in response, we kill right. two things, have yeah. doubles, two first strikes to yeah. kill like the cytoplasm. Like, yeah. Pew pew. Crack. This is this is good fire slinger practice yeah. for me. Yeah. We actually have a bunch more of them too. We could really shorten this clock up. Not that that's what I really want. But the okay. Force. Uh, I think we just sit. Okay. We aren't gonna. He has a he has a five toughness conclave failing, so we can't really attack with the swift blade. Exciting magic, viewers. <laughs> Can we count down from thirteen? Well, we don't need to. Like you said, we've yeah. got seven points of burn in hand. I mean, I guess at some point we could like end a turn here, kill Custodian Kozilix Predator, but I don't even know how good that is for us. We still can't attack through the phalanx. I guess we can with the five five. But I don't feel like we're under no, any pressure. I don't like, feel I like I think it's the wrong play to just try to push through damage when we're the ones with the yep. actual clock here. As, and especially when we have so many good like reactive plays that yeah. can mess with what he's doing. Yep. I guess like an all is dust could be bad, but we're not really exposing ourselves extra to that. No. Karn could be, actually, even Karn's not that good. We could no. <laughs> he'd two for one of us, but we would just he right he would minus three and then we'd bolt it. Yeah. Uh, so we made a three three. Yeah. Okay. Getting there. Another burst lightning off the top would be good. Do we have we still have one left? No, we do we use one? Is this the one from the original? We've just held on to that yeah. whole game. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How many lands are left in our deck? <laughs> but we got seven, eight, nine. All right. Well, this left. is our. Let's say this is our flood for the evening. Well, don't say that. No, like, it won't happen in the future. I understand. Yeah, that's that's how it does happen every round. <laughs> what is in what is in his hand? Is yeah, what I'm, I'm curious, curious to know what he's holding on to. You would think any creatures he would be playing to try to, and he just played a two-two, so you would think he'd. Pew, 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 pew. Almost missed that one. You were, I did. The mouse was wandering around. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Old wandering I'm, I was basically trying to, like, think... Like, I'm trying to think of what's in his hand. And, yeah, well, now we've oh, got two oh, good. lands. I'm going to crack, crack it, it right now. Crack a lacking. This feels like a Tempest draft or something. Look at all that gas we have. Yeah. Look at how good Inner Flame Igniter is. Or right Rapid Flames. <laughs> or Rapid Flames. <laughs> Oh yeah, can we we can actually fire off the inner flame igniter. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But now no, we got lands. 
We just got rid of two of them, though. And we're yep. down to four lands, 14 cards. Oh, bounce land. He's just going to straight up uh, Emrakula. Uh, yeah, he's just going for four. 15. <laughs> you know what would be awesome? Ulamog targeting Fire Slinger. <laughs> Poor Fire Slinger never saw it. <laughs> That's not how Ulamog crushes. No. This is how Ulamog crushes. <laughs> So well, he's got 8, 9, 10, so he could play an Eldrazi next turn. But we're... But, but I mean, we're... We're right one there. short right now. There's yeah! Right Let's get some fire up in here. Yeah, let's play it, and then pass. <laughs> yeah, unless... What does attacking with the Swift Blade do? Oh, like you, we have 9. We could do it right now. We could attack with the... That seems... I, we're winning. Like, why there's... That's that's how we lose this that game. That is how we that's lose, how we that lose game. this game. Is to be like, oh, what could go wrong? We got an inner flame igniter. We'll just pump everything plus three, plus zero, and what does it get? First strike or trample? First strike. Yeah, what can go wrong? But that's exactly what can go wrong. Okay, but... It's he, also good on defense. Let's acknowledge that if he always dusts us right here, look like big, big fools. Are we, though? We have seven points of Yeah, no, we, I mean, he'll be draw one. one. We would need one damage. Yeah. And he would have had to draw it now because he would have played it before. Sun lands on what? Oh, oh our okay. igniter. We could brute force, but no, I don't think so, right? Because we got him dead. So here's a question. Yep. Should we burn right now? I um. Probably not. I, I think we should. Why wouldn't we? Because this that there's only downsides to not burning him. Like, what would be the downside okay. to? Because he's he has the same amount of cards. He has the same amount of information. All that's different is we get to untap our mana afterwards. Right. I guess if he kills the fire slinger in response, we could do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, just in case he. Because the one mana isn't all that big of a difference. <sighs> of course. I mean, I know I'm complaining while well, we're hopefully about to win a game of Magic, but like, <laughs> really, deck? Alright. Okay. Well. So yeah, he could have had the 8, eight gain life yep. spell there, in which case we're back to square one. <laughs> back, we're at an 8 turn clock again. So. Yeah. Alright, so we definitely flooded out that game, but we still got the W. So, yeah. um, no real artifacts to go with. Uh, is, is Gutshot any good? Not really. I feel like we've seen quite a bit of his deck. How good would Spike Chat Elder have been at any point or any really other equipment? Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, he had no real removal, so Otherworldly Journey doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. I think it's still. Well, you have the Arrest, which Apostle's Blessing does nicely with. Yep, so he had, that's the only piece of removal I think we saw. Mm -hmm. um, the Apostle's Blessing is okay, pretty good against him. We didn't see what it, he was black for. No. I, my guess would be Bone Splinters. Something like that, yeah. Should we run it back? Or, or uh, spread the sickness if he got one of those or something like that. We'll yeah. Fine too. I think let's run it back. Basically, <laughs> we just want to get five fives on the board. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's okay. To keep, we can cycle fire yep. fall if we need to. I'm through. I'm two. It's hard to give away a lightning bolt. And now we've got our plane, so we don't have to cycle it. And we can turn to Swift Blade. Yeah. With only minimal backup, that's not the greatest. We are ahead on clock, too, which is great. Yeah, that's unusual for us. Yeah. Usually we're the slow player. And we didn't play particularly fast that last no. game, but we just sat for a lot of turns. Nest Here's Invader. The Nest Invader. No. Ooh, uh, bolt. bolt. <laughs> <laughs> F that card. <laughs> You're not even making it to the end step. You're just both getting bolted. That card would have been really good for him to top deck yes. pretty much any time. Yeah. <laughs> well, before you click it, just I don't think there's anything. Oh, oh yes. Oh, and yes. Of course, with that. Now we want to draw equipment. Pi doesn't block. No. <laughs> Seems kind of important to his game plan. Huh. Huh. 
right. I think we just swing and. Yep. And I think we land cycle yep. end of turn unless he has remo Well, we can still do it with Rogue Apostle's blessing if he has removal or something. <clears throat> Too bad we don't have the blood over here. Yeah. Wrap and flames. I hope does some work. Yeah. It'd be awesome. If he has, like, the cone of creatures, that's... If he went to scatter the seeds here, <laughs> and then we... That, I don't want that. <laughs> tapped, and we killed all of his creatures, and, yeah. Well, that makes... Okay. So we're done. I, I, are you in agreement to cycle yep, fire yeah, here? Yeah, okay. I am. Because we want to turn on Minotaurs. Nice. Do it right in the middle of combat. That's nice. Give him the scare. Put the feared god into him. Oh, god. What does he got? Oh, just land cycling. You yes. had a planes, right? Planes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we could uh, brute force our tap to uh, borrow swiftly just to show aggression. <laughs> I feel like we don't even need this. Yeah. Force. <laughs> I'm ripping my magic cards up. <laughs> oh. All right, so then we attack and minotaurs. Yep. Yeah, I think, and I think that was still like even though we got the land we needed. I think it was still the right call just because it was so important that we... Yes, we couldn't... Like, missing land was so bad there. Because he's missing land, too. Yep. So any turn he misses from now on... If his best play was Culling Deus... With, the, with his only creature being, like, a key to the yep. deck... Man, we can bash him good next turn, too. Yep. Uh, we're holding 11 in our hand right now, I think? Yep, and, like... No, we 13... And Rapid Flames can, I mean, yeah. depending what he plays. We are shields down, so Apostle Blessing doesn't do anything, but. Well, what could he, he could have? Arrest, which is terrible. <laughs> That's yeah. the only removal we saw. Yeah. Like, Arrest on Minotaurs, we untap and Apostle's Blessing and attack for five is so good. And that tent spends his whole turn basically doing nothing. Yeah. Cathodian. And now, see, that's that's cool. Oh, he gets three mana. Three mana, yeah. So I think we... I would attack here. Uh, since we drew the Minotaurs, I think we attack. With both? Yep. Yeah. If we hadn't drawn the Minotaurs, I might have just gone with one there, but now we want to just keep pushing damage, and we can spend one mana. Yep. And even no matter where he blocks, he's losing one or both creatures. And if he doesn't, then we have Minotaurs anyways and have blessing up uh so then we would you rather have a brute force or a, a blessing I, uh, I don't know what the right play is here i like so brute force is better with borrow swift blade if we mm -hmm. think we can push through damage with it <clears throat> I think that, I don't know if we're gonna ever get the chance to do so. I think so. It might just be better to have yeah. blessing. I don't know. What do you feel like? I I think that the brute the brute force is the call. Is, okay. Well, no, no, no. Let's because let, brute force could be like a lava spike, which could we're getting close to wanting to do that. Okay. Like wrap in flames with the brute force up. Like yep. I don't know what he does next turn. Uh, no, not us. Yeah, there you go. Now we get pro green. Right. Like. Yep. I see you. Thought you could hide. And then we minotaurs. follow up with minotaurs, and we yeah. have twelve power, and he's at eleven, and we make nothing block next turn. Yep. He needs a rest or die, and a rest may not even be good enough. What turn is this? This is turn five. Savage. This is turn five. This deck. When it hits curve and the opponent yeah. stumbles, is this is what it does. It, it's not... If you're dirling around or you miss a land drop, yep. you are dead. Bucky Badger's gonna... Bucky Badger! Do some work, rah. hopefully. Don't get arrested, Bucky. Actually, does arrest even save him? I don't know if arrest saves him. No, because then we wrap and brute yeah. force. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if he has an out here. I mean, he does have he does have access to six mana. You're right. So, like, Cone of Creature? No, that's not that great. Arrest. There it is. On, yeah, Arrest and Bucky. He's dead. Actually, I think... Oh, no, wait. So, Rapid and Flames deals one damage, and they can't block, right? Just double right. check. So, up to, up to three target creatures, those creatures, those can't, creatures block. can't block. And now we brute four. Oh, and, it's attacking? All right, never mind. No rap. No rap necessary. I'd say we have this one wrapped up. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, 
That was awful. He could sack and play a colorless spell. No, he's dead. But, I mean, he's dead still, <laughs> but... Still dead. <laughs> Should we wrap our guys and then... Oh, the elder. Uh, yeah, so just attack. Attack, and then brute. I would just brute as soon as you have priority. Brute pre-combat. Take 13. Sorry we left you behind, Bucky. <laughs> Bucky we... got arrested. Yeah, Bucky. It's not unlike some of the UW students around here. Oh, he's going with this member? That would be amazing. <laughs> Wait, would that... No, he would still take... Yeah, he would still take four. four. No, he no, would, he... He would yeah, stay he would... alive. Oh, I want him to get there. <laughs> this member. I do... I'm that'd sorry. Be a, be a really I'm sorry awesome to root play. against us, but that'd be an awesome play. that would be an awesome play. Aww. It resolves. This member would still do it. But w why wouldn't you do it? I know. Okay. Yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> GG. GG. All right. That Got there in round one, yeah. a pretty pretty good showing. I mean, it kind of round uh, game matched game two. There, we punished a, a slow mm -hmm. draw. Uh, game one, we kind of grinded out. If you watched, uh, if you watched, like that was actually, I, 